Delegated rules will be available in class system user my rules. Let's go ahead and discuss about branch rule sets. So look at here branch rule sets. So current development branches. What is the use of branch rule sets? See my requirement is like this. I am working on a requirement for my development I am using version 02 there is a rule which I want to modify which is available in 02 in my team or other team whatever it is they are also working on some other requirement other team is working on other requirement those people also wants to access the same rules which we are working they also wants to access the same rules which we are working to complete their development so my release is Suppose October 3rd is my release. Okay, so their release is October 7th. Okay, we, we both have to start the development. So, as part of our requirements, we came to know that we have to work on the same rules. Some of the rules are same rules which we need to modify. So, they cannot wait on us, we cannot wait on them. Okay, because if you are going to wait for other to, others to complete the development, maybe we, 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 we would not be able to complete our work on time so we go ahead irrespect of other process there is a rule which is available in version 2 which i want to modify as per my requirement other team has to modify as per their requirement so now we need parallel development so usually whenever you open a rule other developer can, should not be able to open the rule and work on it so there will be loss in changes so to allow this process of parallel development you will be provided with something called branch rule sets so <clears throat> you must go ahead and first create a branch rule set for a specific rule set version okay first you need to create a branch id suppose i'm going to add a branch branch name is iobv okay here you go ahead i will be vehicle submit this so I have added a branch, save this, just let me log off and log in back, make sure everything is fine. So I have added a branch, now I am going to create a branch rule set. So I am going to select the branch id which I have just created, rule set is iobi vehicle. So create and open. save this now this is branch rule set okay look at here go back so i am not able to create another one so what i am going to do now i am going to add another branch iob vehicle 2 iob vehicle 2 submit so created one more branch and i am going to create a branch rule set now I will be vehicle to I will be vehicle. for the same rule set now I have two branches this is the rule set R1 so now this rule set same rule set has two other branches two other this is one branch this is another branch this is r1 b1 okay this is r1 b2 so because these two are now different rule sets are same rule sets different are same these two are different rule sets considering these two alone different rule sets are same rule sets so now there is a rule rule 1 which i am going to save as into r branch 1 rule 1 i am going to save as into branch 2 now two instances are available for same rule can i go ahead with parallel development is it possible so it is possible now because i brought it into two different branches so now any rule which you want to modify you just go ahead and get the rule save as now you look at here i am going to open one of the rule decision table suppose take and save as 
while you save as now it is going to ask you you want to go ahead with regular development or normal normal one no branch means regular one so otherwise it's new branch into this branch so create and open iob vehicle i have created a decision table into this branch where i am going to remove the second one oh i'm sorry about it hang on one okay as part of my development i have modified it into my branch where i am going to check in there is another developer who is going to open the same role and modify it let me refresh this once where is it decision table let me log off and log in back oh no need so now this is the branch one let's go ahead with view versions of 0 to so now there is another developer who is also going to take the same rule set save as into his branch into previously which branch i have saved as iob iobb vehicle normal one so now i am going to take it into vehicle 2 second branch so i am going to create and open as part of my development so now i am going to add one more 1500104 and here it is something like test this is my change considering my change i have added something considering other changes they have deleted something so their resultant final will be the small set of decisions my resultant something should be additional one but actual one two should not be available finally right that is their requirement so finally if you consider it should have 0 0 3 4 that should be the final decision rule as part of both of our requirements we want to see in production clear so now these branches are been created branch 1 branch 2 rules are been saved as into so now how would you want to proceed when you move suppose as part of my development release i want to move down october 3rd mine is first initial branch is the first one so now how would i proceed i want to make it available version 01 02 01 or higher version look at here so after you are done with this process you save everything so my release has come now in in real uh, in in the into the production environment you should not move to the branch rule sets before you move all these things once you are done with your development you have to go ahead and make this branch integrated into your actual rule set so merge this into actual rule set so you have merged on october 3rd you have merged and moved it to production done october 7th they have to now on october 7th they have to merge it back to resultant one and send it across okay so now look at here so once after you come here this one i want to go ahead and merge i will be me vehicle one actions what is going on let's go open application and here you go ahead see at any point of time you want to go ahead and lock this one or you want to go ahead and um, what is that remove from the application delete from the system you have actions drop down available so you can go ahead and merge individual branches everything together and then finally you can you can merge into final that is also possible so now this one i, I want to go ahead and lock it first of all so that no one is going to make the changes if i lock it done so now i am going to merge it so where you are going to merge this one into actual rule set version so now the version is 010102 i want to merge it into 010201 only i can do that otherwise i can merge it into higher version i am merging into higher version keep all source rules and rule sets after merge what does this mean everything will this branch will be still available otherwise it will be gone something like that so now
So something which should be enabled here. Hang on. So now look at here. So I am going to merge this role side. Okay. So I have to choose merge and version 02. I want to go ahead and merge. So I have a check. Oh, I have a button called merge it into. So I am going to merge it into version 01, 02, 02. Uh, you can select this checkbox if required. And then successfully merge, close this. So after your merge has been done, you can delete it. There is no need of. So now if you look at here. Agency details table, decision, decision table, agency details table now has in version 2, 01, 02, 02. So this is the latest update which I have done. After this, there should be something else which has to be gone. Now let's go ahead and go to the, let's delete this. This is not required. You can do it at the time when you are merging itself I think it's it's been deleted let me refresh this so you, you usually don't work on all these things but still you need to know this why this button is not working okay so let's leave it let me go ahead and now Try to match this. It still shows the same conflict, right? Okay, I'll mark as the conflict as resolved. So let's go ahead now and merge this one into two. The same I want to merge this two. So now I'll show you what is going to happen. So this has been merged. So now the version two has been same has been updated with merging, merging with another branch. So now you go ahead. What is the agency details table, right? Let me open version 2. So what is happening now? 4 has been added. Previously, this was there. But 0, 1, 0, 2 have to be removed. So now there is a conflict in merging. So to avoid all this, you need to do manual retrofit. Manual, you have to go ahead and do manual retrofit. Means after you merge one branch, the second branch when you are merging, you are not sure whether this is going to delete something and put something back. It may work or may, may not work. Okay. So based on your development, how you are proceeding. Suppose someone else had added something. On top of it, you are going to add something else, then it would be fine. But both of you parallelly added. There are two steps. You have added third step. Someone else has added fourth step. When he merged, one, two, three. Fourth step has become three. When you are going to merge, what happens now? It will not be merged as third and there will not be given space for the fourth, fourth one. That will not happen. So you need to make sure to manually retrofit. After the first merge has been done, you have to go ahead and manually merge and then move it. Okay, manually merging means you have to open it and open the target rule. Already merged one you open and open your branch rule set. Manually you make the updates coordinating with the teams. That is called retrofitting the rules. Okay, other than that you have another process of merging the branches immediately. So suppose both of these branches are moving at the same release. I want to move it tomorrow. Both of these branches I want to move tomorrow. Then before I proceed, I can merge these two branches. 
and the resultant one I can merge into target that works fine hundred percent but my requirement is not like this so first branch I'll move tomorrow second branch I'll move after five days so now there will be a loss in data when you are merging the second one so for, to avoid such, such situation you have to manually do the retrofits of the latest branch okay that is the process of working with branch branch rule sets are required whenever you want to go ahead and do the parallel development between different resources okay. no, nothing nothing sir about the declare okay. so today we are going to understand about operator and operator table and few of the properties which are available in the operator rule form and also we are going to understand about page group what is page group we have so far we have seen property page page list what is property properties which is going to hold a single value single value property page is also property which holds other properties onto it page can hold single value properties page can hold other pages page can hold page list